Holy crap, 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 wow. Nintendo out of nowhere just stealth dropped a Nintendo Direct. I am floored and flabbergasted and blown away. I just woke up. I was like, oh, I'll check it just to be safe. It's 10 a.m. And there it was. It's a 28-minute show, boys and girls. Are you ready to buckle the heck in? Are you ready to buckle the heck in? Let's watch this thing together and see what it's all about. Ready, set, go. They just, they just dropped this. It's literally brand new. Okay, it says, please note, due to COVID-19, release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change for potential updates. Please check. Okay, that makes sense. Our hearts go out to all those impacted during this challenging time. That makes a lot of good sense. I can't believe there's a direct. It's just here. Holy cow. Oh my God. All the way. Jeff Grubb, you're good, man. You doubled down, tripled down, quadrupled down, and you were right. Long ago. <sighs> Two great titans came into existence. Can't this is happening. What's up, everybody? Good morning. It's the a Bionis really good morning. <laughs> and the Maconis. A really good morning. <laughs> the titans were locked in a timeless battle. Oh my gosh. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Dang, dudes. Xenoblade is back. For those of you waiting for this, it looks like we'll finally get a date. Huh? In the sky. When does it start? It it's already coming. started. It's already no out. Way. <laughs> it's a Macon. Right now, baby. Commence the assault on Bionis. I don't live stream very often, but I felt like we had to experience this together. It's effective against the <laughs> Holy Mekon cow, what a moment. If we could just All the hype. It's the not Manado's even there. Power. It's my turn. Shulk! Ooh. No! It'll kill you! Shulk! <laughs> There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. No, it's not from past so seven right begins. now. And I don't care if the people are saying that of the Bionis. it's trash or whatever. Like, come on, it's okay. It's it's a freaking new direct during all of this. I'm the ecstatic. I see. A new director in all of this. Set. I'm sure it's not their big show because they so just all dropped it. Maybe they have more later, but let's enjoy the, the heck out of this. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Come on, baby. Mekon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. It's a very long trailer for uh, a game that's getting its third. Or second remake, May 29th. Okay, that's farther than I expected, but hey, a date. Nintendo puts something on their calendar. They put it on the calendar. They put it on the calendar. Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. That's pretty awesome, Rick. First direct since owning a Switch? That's hella cool. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Oh, I got you. Thanks, man. It's 32620. <laughs> it's the not the ultimate past. version of a excited, modern man. classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, yeah, the game real looks slow, better and plays go. smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. You know, I'll be honest, Xenoblade isn't really my my thing, but I know a lot of people are. And some of the music has this, been so. re-recorded. I'm excited for all of you that now are you can very fully excited. immersed in the majesty of this vast And look, it's just world. new games. It's freaking new games and dates in the calendar and exists epilogue, once again. A new story, Future Connected, will cap off the main game. Oh, so if you've played so cool. and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it. But look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Come on, YouTube, let me change the, the title. We'll probably be needing this. There's a lot of Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th. And you can pre-purchase the game starting today. Hey, hey, get also, that pre ready, Also, coming on May baby. 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. Yeah, Kelsey, out of nowhere, they're just like, direct, right now. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. 
We've got news on I'll upcoming it, Nintendo baby. Switch games, Ooh. and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. I'll take it, baby. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? All right, I love your headlines. Look, anything is awesome at this Three point. Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Bioshock? Switch system. Bioshock, baby. 2K loves Switch. Yes! Freaking... Dude, I have dreamed about playing Bioshock on the Switch since this thing first launched. Bioshock, gotta get that Lighthouse logo. Bring it, the collection. Every game. Boom. Big Daddy's Love Little Sister and 2K Love Switch. What a show of support. Let's go. Let's go. Jason, I agree with you, but we're not gonna talk about that till this is over. Borderlands Legendary Collection? Okay. Dude, Borderlands on Switch, and that's looking pretty nice. It's probably not three, but I wonder what's all in it. Legendary Collection? Which games? All of them? If it's all the game, that's pretty good. Claptrap loves stairs. No, his heart's broken. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly, Charles. Anything is awesome. Is it XCOM 2? XCOM 2 Collection. Yes! Dude, you cannot... I can't even joke with me. These are perfect games to take on the go. Borderlands, Bioshock, and XCOM. Let's freaking go. And they're not like being being goofy and bringing us XCOM 1. They're like, dude, it's XCOM 2. And it's not just like Bioshock 1. It's Bioshock Collection. It's their latest Bioshock, their latest XCOM. It's not their latest Borderlands, but I'm curious to see what is in the Borderlands package. Let's go. Let's go, 2K. Thank you. Thank you for showing some third-party love. 2K's beloved series. Come That's a good little ad, too. I like that. Bioshock? Okay, whoa, whoa. All of them on May 29th? All of them? The same day as Xenoblade? Old That's the day now? Face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black That's Order expansion That's pass. the dude? That's the day, I guess? You're what games so was it? Anyone see? I think it's all of them. I think it's 1, 2, and the Handsome Collection? You are no match for Doom's Lucas power. is just out. Nintendo is just like... Your weight has been rewarded. Here's the direct. Let's go. Richards. All right. Anyone still playing Marvel? Anyone still playing Mua 3? Getting new characters. I mean, again, that'll, that'll be happy for some people. Hey, Video Punks. It is the latest Bioshock collection. The new Bioshock is years away. And that probably won't come to Switch. But. I'm still stoked. I'm stoked to see someone saying, like, you know how long we've asked for Bioshock, we've asked for like Mass Effect, we've asked for Dead Space, and nobody does it? Here they are doing it! Here they are doing it. I, I give them I give them double thumbs up. Alright, Shadow of Doom. Hey, hey. Doom must become a god himself. I like it. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration game, you'll collect resources to upgrade your gear, Stop moving, craft Explain. items, and dive deeper into the abyss. This looks kind of neat. It kind of looks indie, but I don't know. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shin Sakai's Time Attack Mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. That's you what I was saying, Bob Bioshock and Borderlands on there. Switch. So why Let's not go. lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. This kind of looks like the a The time has come game, to but... discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shin Sakai Into the Depths launches on hey! Nintendo Switch Dude, today. Dude, where's my Switch, baby? I, I don't care what any of you say about it not being good. Come the heck Live on. Deserted Island Life. It's a direct out of nowhere. Update. And it's not like a five minute or ten minute. It's 28 Enjoying minutes, baby. Enjoying Island Life in the Animal AC. Crossing New Horizons Mwah, game? My love. Well, What's the update? Whether you're already living it up What's on the, the island, what or you're still planning your departure. The update? There's an event coming up, and we're happy to spill the beans. Oh, spill them. Spill them. Crack the eggs? Spill them. Crack those eggs. You see, after downloading the free update oh, it's bunny we made day. available at launch. It's bunny. Hey. One Zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration hey, of Bunny Zipper. Day, early April. <laughs> Let's go. That's April first. That's like in five days. Egg zipper head everywhere. Egg hunt. Let's go in the water. 
Plus. Come on, baby. You can baby. craft these special limited time items from the Egg Series. Look at that. That's the cute. The Day event only comes once a year. This time from April 1st to April 12th. Cool. So be sure to participate. I like that. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Earth Day? Of course. We'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account. Hey. hey. And other channels, too. So, stay tuned. Gotta love that, like, with Animal Crossing, all these games is free updates. Splatoon, we hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted kind island. Kind of a misleading the game update is a game available oh the game is available now i thought that game update is available now i was like yeah but you can't do anything with it hey look someone's hiring oh very very uh oh, this is your relevant. dad's company apparently they offer a wide range of services the job description entails many responsibilities you'll deliver items mop the floor this kind of looks and like maintain my, my a thing. comfortable work environment it's like overcooked but office cooked they're trusting you with crane operation. Like Michael Scott. And other tough tasks. In the warehouse. <laughs> Uh-oh. That projector won't do. Hmm. Think you can take care of that? What is this? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, do what you need to do to get the job done. This kind of looks neat. What is this? Kind of looks indie, but that's okay. Hopefully, you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately. Aiden, I got because you. Because Good Job launches Dude, let's, today. Let's go. We're going to have to play some of these new games. Two titles already available today. Catherine. Let's go. I love Catherine. Action Adventure Puzzler Dude. is coming to Nintendo Switch. How are y'all saying this is bad? the next step in his relationship. Commitment this is Vincent good. Vincent finds himself pulled these into games the allure confirmed? of a new love. Looks like let's poor not Vincent's try to be caught too in a spoiled. love quadrangle with Catherine. Catherine with a C. And Rin. Look, they didn't have to do Little anything know, right now. Temptation might and we got to direct demise. and we're getting sweet games that people have been wanting on Switch for a long time. And this is full body. Unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist this is such a cool of a crumbling game. Like, I know it's kind of puzzle niche, blocks that he and must I know climb it's not like, in order to survive some massive AAA and see game another of the year day. Winner, but Catherine is Find awesome. out if love is over little, for our troubled bachelor in this dark, weird, intense, it's awesome. and intoxicating story. When Catherine full body releases on Nintendo Switch. Okay, July, July is far away, but like, okay. A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure <laughs> game will pump up <laughs> if its you audio. Can get it. Have you seen that Ring Fit Adventure is like three hundred dollars some places? Dancing ring fit. Oh yes, that doesn't really look like dancing, girl. Mix you gotta get more moves. With the new Have you been watching TikTok? Mode. Come on, man. If you wanna set a high score, you gotta get your body moving to the beat. I mean, speaking of, look, people love stuff like this. There are 17 music so tracks in the rhythm knows? game. It's probably not for us at all, but we're a talking free, music from Super oh. Mario Odyssey. Okay, that's cool. Platoon 2. That's cool. And The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. That's cool, guys. Nintendo Music The Ring Fit Adventure, pretty neat. On top of that... I feel my power returning! Next day! Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely done! Wonderful. What an update. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. Okay, I mean, this part's a little We're weird. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. Don't really need a voice you're language not in a option battling mood. segment. You can in simply direct, run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. And look, if you don't love it, just go Better back to Animal Crossing. It's all good, man. One treasured TRPG approaches. I think this is freaking Since sweet. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics exactly are more trickier. realistic. That's what I thought too. Your choices matter more than ever. See, so that's the part I know. Some people are into it. So good, master man. your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. 
find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. I don't know anything about King's Bounty. So Super Smash know. Brothers Ooh. Ultimate News approaches. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC will be... Joining the battle from arms. I love that. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to it? those extendable arms. Who is it? So we'll have to extend our development time too. No! Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. Who is it? The next fighter will be announced and released this June. Okay, so got the lead. You gotta be patient, but it's Nintendo, baby! It's Twintel, isn't it? Don't miss it's this twin arms tell, game isn't trial. It? Oh. A free game trial of ARMS will be available exclusively to the I wish they would have showed the trailer, but I love that it's ARMS in Smash. fighting superstars share one thing in common. Come on, look. England came to Smash. That was a huge deal. ARMS coming to Smash. Whether you like the game or not, it's a huge deal. It's bringing another new Nintendo IP to Smash Bros. And what did we want the whole time? We wanted them to bring more cool, creative Nintendo characters. I think that's awesome. And I think it's going to be Twintel. Or Kid Feeling good? Well, all right. Then how about we take a nice, long look at Bravely Default 2. Oh, look! You're telling me this is trash? Where... Where am I? I can't see Bravely believe Default I survived. Fire. Water. Wind, earth, nature's masters. The great stone's power exceeds the hand of man. And if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity and blight upon the land. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Who's we'll swear the details, eh? Don't stand on ceremony either. I'm excited for this. Even one like person. it's not, you know, gonna be then your, I've done your the right thing. Wild two. But Bravely Default 2 is pretty cool. This tale unfolds. I'll say on that the, the graphics don't look as good as I was expecting. Home to five but they're mighty staying true to the, to the art style, that's for sure. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. All right, the he also the encounters two close. travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book, Elvis and Adele. I've a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off right, together on cool a grand mission. The environments look nice. Each the filled look a with a weird. sense of purpose. But the environments look good. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. I shall steal it all! Every last treasure in the Empire! During battle, you must decide when to use Brave Points, or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Choose Default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at hey, all Michael. times. Hey, Michael. 
I want to respond to your comment Should real quick, you even though this is going on. It says, you like every game you ever. I absolutely do not. I'm not even going to buy Xenoblade. The and there's been plenty of games I've been super disappointed in. Plenty of Nintendo games. I'm not even, like, I don't even like Breath of the Wild as much as most people. Influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. Now for a little announcement. A demo version of the game will oh, launch sweet! today. Oh, sweet! Guys, how are you saying this is bad? In the near future, Three games available today. Survey to gather feedback and incorporate Bradley Default 2 is sick! We finalize the game. We oh. hope you'll participate. I know, I know how it feels, because usually I'm the super disappointed the one. Latest entry in Square but Enix's come on, man. Series, Bravely this is cool. Will release this year. They have such tiny noses. I, I agree with you, Daniel. I agree with you. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a moving. Best game announced for Bioshock Collection. From around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Oh yes, who wants to play some cards on Switch? Clubhouse games? Presenting every single okay. game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Mancala. Oh boy. Anafuda. Backgammon. Renegade. Checkers. Present. Renegade takes on a different Dominance. meaning and present takes on Speed. a different meaning today. Heron Be careful Hounds. guys. Blackjack. Four in a row. Now Chess. I feel like I'm watching a shogi. Wii presentation. Mini Shogi. Ludo. We Michi play. Mahjong. Sevens. We play Plus Golf. Remote. Darts. Texas Hold'em. Nine Men's Morris. Air Hockey. War. Carom. Chinese Checkers. Yacht Dice. Takoyaki. Billiards. Hex. Spider Solitaire. Gomoku. Matching. Bowling. Shooting Gallery. Slot Cards. This is absolutely boxes, like a Wii blow, type announcement, it, isn't it? I mean, Mahjong, you knew stuff like this card, was going to eventually fishing, hit Switch with how Mondai successful Solitaire, it's been and how well tennis, it's selling. Toy Soccer. Toy Not for Ferrari, us, toy but... Boxing, toy Baseball. Battle toy Baseball is fun, okay? Y'all remember Toy Baseball puzzle, when we play? And Six Ball Puzzle. Or it was, I don't know what it's called. Something really similar. 51 games. 51 games. And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people. Playing via local Look at wireless, that switch and in light. some cases, online Bam. play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Mm. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world Again, over. For some people, this when is going to be like a big games, deal. 51 worldwide for grandmas classes, and people. On why Switch, are they so June 5th. Why are they so late though? Pre July, June, May, today. late dates. We've got nothing in April. I guess Wonderful 101. It's from Platinum, but... Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? This was obviously rumored. Ninjalo. Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. An eight-player battle royale? Sprint across stages. <laughs> what? And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. I've seen this at E3 multiple years in a row. By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Disguise yourself. And wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of Ash, they are not. Bravely Default 1 is not on Switch. hitting hammers, to fast and flashy katanas, to tactical tricked out yo yo's. Your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four on four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they this game work is like, together. Hey, we love Splatoon. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? But we can't or use ink or squids. So let's use kids when with Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Ninjala. Switch May 27th. Not Ninjala. And hey, Ninjala. it's free to play too. Hey, hey. Okay. I mean, I'll give it a go. May is far away, Check but I'll out what you can play on give Nintendo it, Switch. Give it a chance. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the, the Force. The first one? Customize your look. I mean, this was rumored, but... Play Star Wars okay. story and battle online Zero with interest. 16 players. Someone might... Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch I mean, Jedi today. Academy 2 is and notably better. And strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. I love that game. I play that with my friends all the time. Riding classic. Dude, You'll I'll play that. Dragon I love the pod racing games. <laughs> battling giant creatures and lethal battleships using 360 degree controls and lock on targeting it's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying when panzer dragoon remake there you launches go. first for, for those of you saying i love everything a zero interest in panzer, panzer dragoon remake none 
There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. All right, let's see. Trials of Mana. We knew that was coming. User. That's the new um, Harmonix game, right? I'll give that a go. Elder Scrolls Blades. Why did it take so long? Hey, I'm not revealing the direct Amelo Soul until the end. Like, I just want to see everything that's there and take it at, at face value for what it is. Close beta April 9th. I wish the 2K stuff was coming soon. Oh! That's cool! Burnout Paradise Remastered? I mean, it's not a new Burnout, but people love that game. That's out tomorrow. I've actually seen that the port's pretty good. I don't love Saints Row, but if you do, it seems like it's a good port. Mr. Driller Drill Land. I'm excited for Minecraft Dungeons, I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks cool. Diablo meets Minecraft? Yes, please. Well, it's been okay. fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. Oh. This is our last news of the day. Now for the latest information on the Pokemon okay. Sword Expansion Pass. Not the, and not the reveal I'd want, but... Pass. Pokemon Sword With Chiller, expansion huge deal. Pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Galar region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about Part 1, the Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles, where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon Cub Fu from the Master I like Cub Fu. Mustard. I'm, I'm all about Cub Fu. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve. Yeah, that's a good point, Ray. I really think the dates might be pushed back. If you back choose because the of Tower it. of Darkness, it will learn single strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn rapid strike style. Dark or water. The choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, Donkey Konga. Let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. All right, so that's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Here's Mini. here's, here's my deal, watching. everybody. I totally get what you're saying about like this being a lackluster Direct. Why is the screen keep moving? 
I totally get it. And and here's why. It, it boils down to one thing. Nintendo, outside of Xenoblade, which is, you know, a monolith remake, Nintendo said zilch about their lineup. But let's be real. Do you think Nintendo has nothing for the rest of 2020? Do you think they just have Animal Crossing and a Xenoblade remake that's being done by Monolith Soft? And they've got nothing else for you the rest of the year? Do you really believe that's the case? Do you really, really believe that that's it? That they've got nothing? I do not believe that. I think maybe this was the plan all along, or maybe plans got shifted due to the pandemic, and they wanted to put out their third-party pump-out session. They got information on big games from 2K. They got information on Bravely Default from Square. They got information on a lot of decent things. Even some first party stuff like, hey, Smash DLC, it's coming in from Armas, which I know for a lot of you sucks. For me and for others, it's really cool. I was hoping Sakurai would go back to the Nintendo well instead of exclusively existing within third parties. So I like that. And I think, you know, it's pretty cool the Pokemon expansion passes are substantial pieces of content, whether you're into Sword or Shield or not. So, like, I get why it's viewed as trash, because there's no big Nintendo announcements. And many of the rumored games that we've been expecting are not there. So when you're thinking about things like, hey, where is Super Mario 3D World? Hey, where is Pikmin 3? Hey, where is Paper Mario? Hey, where is Breath of the Wild 2? We don't get it. And I, and I understand that. And for me, that stinks as well. That makes sense. I get that that is kind of a bummer. You gotta believe and you gotta trust and know that Nintendo has games coming. They have first-party games coming, my friends. This is not the extent of their lineup. They're not done. Notice two things. One, they said delays and dates were going to be affected. So dates were going to be affected, delays were going to happen. Okay? Two, notice that everything in this Direct is just for the next couple of months. They didn't say, here's our September games, here's our August games, we've got nothing else. They did not say that at all, did they? They just talked about what's coming soon and probably what they can really lock in and, and kind of guarantee, you know? That's probably what where they're at right now. That's probably what they feel they can commit to. I don't know how th this goes. I don't know if Indie World and this Direct, this mini Direct were planned forever, and they just happen to, you know, coincidentally also have the pandemic, and, and so that all added up. I do not know. I do not know at all. Or if this was a, a last-minute late audible, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. But what I do know is this was not all that they have. This was what they've got right now in the immediate future. And I think that as someone who normally criticizes the directs for not delivering, there was not any wow moment, okay? But they brought and are bringing a lot of titles that they can add to the calendar to satiate and ease the concern that nothing else is coming. And you have to know and trust, man, that there is more coming, okay? No big games sucks. No one more thing sucks. It's not the directs that we expect, but two things. One, it was a shadow drop mini direct. And two, look at what's going on around us. Everyone has said and everyone has, has believed that there's going to be a lot of delays. There's going to be chaos and confusion. and Things are going to probably be shifted around and maybe take longer than we'd like. So I fully expect there's a direct. Because look, Nintendo is not going to just sit with a mini direct for all of 2020. Whether it comes in April or May or they wait till the you know normal E3 time to do it. We're going to get more stuff, and they're going to show off games like Mario 3D World or Paper Mario or whatever they're working on. This isn't it. Look at what happened with even ARMS. There's no way they believed that initially the Smash Bros. DLC fighter number one from the second pass was going to be in June. There's no way, and yet they have to push it to June because of what's going on. So garbage, you know, maybe there's no games that you liked. Maybe there's not, and I'm sorry if that's the case. I'm sorry if you've been waiting for this and it didn't deliver, but I think you got to take the whole situation into consideration, and look, they could have done nothing, and we could have been left completely in the dark. Instead, we have some cool things to look forward to, and if you're not a fan of some of these games, I suggest giving them a try. Bioshock, Catherine, these are really cool games that probably deserve your attention. Bravely Default, Xenoblade, for a lot of people, those will also be really good games that deserve people's attention. So, I, I honestly don't even think that this is any announcement or indication that the rest of the year is going to be slow. I think it's just, this is what they have right now. And it's been discussed. Even Jeff Grubb in his initial rumor said this is going to be a third-party focused showcase. So maybe it's been planned all along. And maybe they're just saving their big first-party stuff for later, for a different presentation, for E3. Who knows? Okay? They obviously are going to push the Pokemon expansion heavily. That game sold like hotcakes. They're obviously going to push the Animal Crossing updates like crazy. That game also is selling like hotcakes. So they are continuing to fuel their biggest properties while trying to amass third-party and indie support, and obviously they're working on first-party stuff, we just have to wait, which sucks, but we just have to wait. So, again, 
There's no way that there's nothing first party. So please don't take this. I mean, I, I see some people saying 0 out of 10, 2 out of 10. That's just disingenuous. Given the situation, it's just disingenuous. There have been full directs that have been really lackluster. And again, I don't, I don't see how you cannot... <laughs> you got to look at what's going on in the world. And you got to know Nintendo is a big company, and they have games coming. Animal Crossing isn't their only first party title. And luckily, we get Wonderful 101 in April, and we get some cool third-party stuff in May, and then hopefully by that point, either Nintendo is ready to reveal or they know. I mean, I mean, it's 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 all good. Thank you so much for the donation. I super appreciate it. Who's that from? Bob Menzel. Thank you for the positivity. Love it and love you. Appreciate it a lot. Um, look, like, the deal is they have an investor call. They need to get stuff out there. The fiscal year is about to restart. Am I sad there's no Breath of the Wild 2? Am I sad there's no Paper Mario or Mario Kart or whatever their big next Mario thing is? Absolutely. Would I have loved to see Mario Golf instead of freaking Star Wars Jedi Academy? Absolutely. Would I have loved to see Mario 3D World instead of, I don't know, the, the indie workplace game? Absolutely. Like, no duh. But you have to take into consideration what's, what's going on, and they will have games for this fall. Come on. Look, I mean... There's two other consoles coming out. Nintendo has said they don't have a new console. They're going to have games. When will they be announced? I don't know. But now you know. Hey, a, a, a Smash character is coming from ARMS. Take it or leave it. I think it's cool. Hey, Bravely Default is a demo. Go play it. That's kind of neat for a game that a niche audience was excited for. Hey, Xenoblade Chronicles is a date. You can look forward to that coming because people have wanted that for a while. Hey, 2K is bringing a bunch of stuff to Switch, and so are other third parties. That's pretty cool. Hey, we shadow dropped a few things. They may not be for you, but that's pretty cool. And we also shadow dropped this direct right now. Do I think Mario Love Games in 2020 Jungle Yoda? Absolutely. Absolutely, freaking lutely I'm going to go and dig deeper into this and uh, give kind of an overarching take on everything. But I encourage you, thanks, Adrian, I appreciate it. I encourage you to, to chill for a little bit. There was a high likelihood we got nothing. And I don't love this direct. I don't think it's an A direct or even a B direct. But I think given the circumstances and given what we know... Like, I see people saying, oh my god, Doom Eternal, Mario Odyssey 2, Mario Kart 9, Breath of the Wild 2, 1, all of those are not happening in the same Direct. They're not even having the same year, let alone the same Direct. So come on. And 2, like, I mean, the Smash Bros. thing, I think it's cool. You're, if it's not your character, you're going to be obsessed. People, why isn't Crash in the game? Why isn't Doom Slayer in the game? We don't know what they are. All right, give it a, give it a breather. They announce one character, and you don't even know who it is. Could be the best character ever. Anyhow, I'm going to go work on videos. Thank you so much for being here. For those of you that had fun, whether you love the direct or not, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's a crazy cool moment to wake up and get a direct. I'm sorry if, uh, I'm sorry it was not for you, but look, they do have games coming. So, so your, your saving grace is knowing that Nintendo, one of the largest companies in gaming, one of the most longstanding, effective, efficient, and downright awesome companies in gaming is not going the rest of the year with nothing first party. Mark my words. Write it down. It's not even really my words. It's just common sense. So you are going to get those games. I'm just sorry that it didn't happen today. So, you know, it'll be there. It'll be there. And uh, we just have to wait. But at least we got something. Something is better than nothing. I mean, imagine if there was nothing. And you're just like, well, let's wait till May. Let's wait till April. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go gather my thoughts. Take a deep breath. I'm kind of shocked people hated it. I was hoping for Silk Song too, Mr. Dud. I was hoping for a lot. You know, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for being here. Appreciate all of you. A lot, a lot of people checking this out. I know it seems like a lot of you are disappointed, but uh, it's just not true, Trent. Nintendo is not for 2020. It's just not true. I'm going to go dispel that in a video. Um, they're clearly not operating on the same patterns. Remember, they've had a lot of turnover in terms of their staff and who's working at the, the higher ups, and maybe it took a while to implement changes, and maybe they just don't want to do march reveals for their big fall game anymore maybe they want to do shorter cycles maybe they want to save it for e3 maybe they didn't like that smash was revealed in march and mario odyssey was revealed in march and pokemon was revealed early in the year maybe they didn't like that maybe they want it to be at, at e3 so i get it it's not for you it's okay it's all right it's good until uh until the next time though everybody thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys on a video soon we'll recap this and talk more about it please get your thoughts in here i appreciate all your thoughts as long as you're respectful i'm okay if you give it a zero but I love you guys. Have a good one. Hope you're staying safe. Stay home. Uh, check out Switch Strong if you want. Um, I'll put the link right now for those of you that are still checking this out and still watching. Um, we started up a Discord last night for people to hang out and uh, play play games. Um, 
and what's the word? Hang out, play games, talk Animal Crossing, and just you know get some support if you need it. So um, let me let me grab you guys an invite um, if you want to check it out. Um, let's see. All right. If you guys want to check out the server and hang out with some cool people, including myself, I'll be there talking and stuff. Um, I'm not a Nintendo shill, always retro. They don't even send me their games early. I think I went and got Animal Crossing myself. I had to buy both my copy and my girlfriend's copy. Uh, anyways, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Switch Strong, the new cool server. See you guys in more AC videos, Nintendo Direct videos, and overall goodness because, look, life is good, and we're lucky that our biggest complaint is that the Direct was a C. Keep that in perspective. I'll see you guys soon. Until that time, thanks so much for being here. Love you lots. Switch Force.